In order for the heart to function well, it has to be pumping in a very coordinated fashion. For that all to work together, there's a complex electrical system inside the heart. The electrical signals are the foundation of the heartbeat. An electrical signal leading to a squeeze of the heart is like a dance. The electricity of the heart has to move in a coordinated fashion so that the blood can move through nice and smoothly. That coordination provides the normal rhythm or squeezing pattern for the heart. And when that goes awry, that's what we call an abnormal rhythm or an arrhythmia. Abnormal electrical impulses can lead to a variety of symptoms in patients, and it can even lead to heart failure over time in some patients. I'm Charlotte, and I'm 10 years old. I do dance like ballet and Irish dance. The first time she had an episode was when she was dancing. She was doing Irish dance, which is very aerobic at times. And she just stopped and said, my heart's beating really fast. We checked her pulse, it was definitely going very fast, and it just wasn't slowing down the normal way you would think it would slow down. It felt like it was like popping out, and it was going super fast, and I can feel it without putting my hand over it. Charlotte's symptoms were caused by SVT, or supraventricular tachycardia, which is an abnormally fast heart rhythm. So she used both the normal circuit of her heart and also this extra electrical pathway in her heart to create a circuit that gave her palpitations that were not dangerous in and of themselves, but understandably very uncomfortable for her. Sometimes it would just come and I would have to stop. It's harder for me to dance, concentrating on what I'm meant to be doing instead of trying to concentrate and trying to making it stop. It was nerve-wracking, however, Dr. Beach was very calming with explaining exactly what was happening. This is a condition that could be potentially very dangerous, but this is how we're going to deal with it. We have special pediatric cardiologists who deal with the electrical system of the heart. You can think of them as the cardiac electricians, if you will, and we call them electrophysiologists. Charlotte underwent a procedure that we call an electrophysiology study and ablation. We use catheters to access blood vessels at the top of the legs to get to the inside of the heart through the body. We use these catheters to find the abnormal electrical signals in the heart and then create a little scar right at the exact area so that the electricity can't move at that particular site. We start by making some geometry of the heart so that we actually have a 3D heart model we're looking at. And then we watch our catheters and we map the electricity so that we can actually see where the electricity moves through the heart. And we see the normal electricity as well as the abnormal electricity in this way. With the ablation procedure, she would only have to be in for a day or two at most, and it would be through the femoral veins, so they don't have to open up her heart or anything like that. A very safe procedure. The programs within the Children's Heart Center span everything from heart rhythm abnormalities like arrhythmias to heart failure, where the heart muscle itself is not working and perhaps the patient needs a heart transplant. It's really a comprehensive program that takes care of patients and families with heart problems that got diagnosed perhaps when they're in utero, and we will manage those heart problems all the way through till adulthood when our patients are hopefully having their own families. Charlotte's doing awesome. She hasn't had any symptoms since she had her procedure. She's doing great. Ever since the surgery, she is back to her normal self. We just don't have to worry about anything. Feels better than worrying about whenever I do jumps and stuff. Is this going to happen? Is it not going to happen? Like, I don't really even think about it much anymore. I just feel so honored to be able to play a part in allowing Charlotte to not have this even be an issue for her.